Welcome to Cape Peninsula Capital. Today I'm going to talk about the technical analysis of Global Ship Lease and I make already a video about Canals Corporation and I also said there that I'm still very bullish for the shipping industry in general. And today I want to talk a little bit about the overall situation of Global Ship Lease and in the end of this video I will also provide you with the setup on how I will trade the stock where are the points where I will go long? So first we have this big increase in the price of global ship lease. And we can see that we have two different price actions. So first we have this big increase with no setbacks. And then we are still here in the uptrend. But this uptrend is very choppy in the direction of the trend. So if we take a closer look, we can see that the lows are not overlapping with the previous highs, also indicating that this move to the upside is very, very strong. And if we take a look at this price action, and if we compare the lows to the previous highs, we can see a huge overlap. And normally, if you see this corrective move in the direction of the trend, you always should be a little bit more cautious. If we take a look at the indicator here at the relative strength index, we can also see that although the price has formed, sorry, the mouse, although the price has formed higher lows and higher highs, the relative strength index has formed lower lows and lower highs. So this is a negative divergence indicating that momentum is weakening. And this is very important to say, this is not a timing indicator. So you can't time your trades purely based on this indicator. And this is also very little bit contradicting. I also said this about Ganaos Corporation. If we take a look at the relative strength index, we are now at 53. And normally, if you are in an uptrend, you want to look for long opportunities if your RSI level is between 55 and 45. And if we take a look at the Fibonacci retracement level, we can see that from this whole move to the upside, we are only at the 23 Fibonacci retracement level. So normally what you want to see is some further correction. So here we have also a very dominant support area. So here we have, uh, here was a resistance area. Here it has acted as support. And at the 38 Fibonacci retracement level, we can also see that it that it has acted multiple times as resistance. So now let's come to the actual setup on how I will trade the stock. So therefore we go into the daily chart and we can see that we have a very dominant uptrend line in global ship leaf, leaf, lease, sorry, uh, which has acted several times as support and also as resistance. So I will go long in global ship lease, if we see a retest of this support area at the 23 Fibonacci replacement level, and also here it has acted as resistance and here as support. So this is where I will look for long opportunities. So for example, if we see a hammer candle as here or here, I will go long. But the setup which I prefer more is if we would retest the 20, sorry, the 38 Fibonacci replacement level. Because at this level, we have lost enough of steam, enough, enough of pressure. So then we can start a new big uptrend to, um, yeah, to the upside. And here a short reminder about the fundamental situation. If we take a look at the shipping rates, we are still five times higher than the five year average. So these shipping companies right now, they are making huge amounts of cash. And we have also seen a huge shift in the policy of the Federal Reserve. So in the future, we might expect a faster tapering and also rate hikes in 2022. And normally these shipping companies and value stocks in general perform relatively good in those environments. So thanks for your time. If you have any questions, please put them down into uh, the comment section.